Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Drake called Wu-Tang Forever. And we're going to start off with kind of that keyboard riff, and we're going to end up capoing this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording. But you can start out 1st fret on the B string, open B, open G, 2nd on the D, and then 2nd on the D, open D, and then 2nd on the D, and then 2nd on the A, and then 2nd on the D, and then 2nd on the A. So we're going C, B, G, E, E, D, E, B, E, B. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could throw in the bass notes that would kind of work around that. So on that first fret on the B string, you could throw in the open E string. And I'm kind of doing that hybrid pick, so, picking. So I'm using my pick for my basses and my finger for, for the other notes. And then when you go to that second fret on the D string, you could do that with the open A. And then the second on the A. And then open A with second on the Ds. So you may want to kind of play around with, with kind of working that through the tune that way. I just think that might be kind of cool to, just to kind of use that as kind of an opening lick. And then the licks, or the, the lick is kind of implying some different chords. And actually the chord that we would, we would start on would be an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger goes to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. We play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret. The second finger on the D on the second fret. The third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And through the tune, actually, we're going through our, our whole first course. We just kind of got this progression of E minor, A minor, A minor, A minor. A minor. A lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you take the E minor and just try that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our first chorus progression. We'd have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up. trying to add to the song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass note for the chord so on the E minor you can do low E bass down up up down up and on the A minor you can add in the A string to kind of make it almost simulate playing with a bass player so we tried it that way you'd have E minor with the bass down up up down A minor with the A bass down up up down A minor with the A bass down up up down A minor with the A bass down up now another strum pattern I would think about using through the song too is something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is that if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now our down, down, up, up, down is kind of dividing that into two parts. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. And what a 16th note is, is where we divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth notes strum patterns to work with is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up on two, down on three. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got long down, 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 down up. that to, to the verse chorus is, is the E minor doesn't last quite as long and the last A minor doesn't last as long. So you can kind of do E minor with kind of the long down, 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 and then we do A minor with our whole pattern, down, 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 down up, up, down, down, up, down, and then we do an A minor with the down, 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 down the first half. So we tried it that way, we'd have E minor down, 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 down A minor down.
is on that too, and you could have kind of a bass down, down up on the E minor, A minor with kind of a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, and then the A minor with an A bass, and then the down, down. So we tried it that way. You have E minor with a bass, down, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, A minor with an A bass. part is though to play along with Drake, at least on the lyric video that I found, instead of starting on an E minor chord, he's actually starting on a G sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo and you want to put it on fourth fret and the E minor is now a G sharp minor and your A minor is really a C sharp minor. But you may still want to kind of kick it off with, with that, that, that piano intro lick and with the basses or, or without. That could be a really cool way to kind of intro the tune. And then people be like, oh my gosh, we'll take it. I love this tune. <laughs> it's a great song. Or you could just do the down, down, up, up, down, up through it. And you'd have E minor down, down, up, up, down, A 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 minor down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could add basses to that. We'd have E minor with a Louis bass down. that with our 16th pattern we'd have E minor with down 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 A minor down 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 up up down down up down up down 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 E minor down 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 E minor down 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 up up down down up down E minor down 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 E minor down 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 E minor down That's the basics of how you can strum through Wu-Tang Forever by Drake. So good luck.